Better news. Regional soccer tournament for our area. Let's start in McClay, though. That's right. Boys soccer. McClay wasting no time <laughs> off the corner. Money. Noah Greenstein with the header. That puts the Marauders up 3-0. Just 10 minutes of action. McClay, they're just getting started, too. A little later, check out this passing. Zach Scavato, the beneficiary. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Goal. And the freshman, check this out, Ryan, celebrates with a little... Gritty, greatest performance. What do you think? All right, smooth. I like it. <laughs> Channeling to Mac Jones. I'm and uh, that's good stuff. RJ Jose, the breakaway to top it all off for the Marauders. No problem. It was all McClay from Frank Shaw Field. They open up tournament play with a dominating 8 0 win over Charity Catholic. All right, let's head to Crawfordville, shall we? War Eagle Country as Wakulla, the district champs, hosting BK. We were deadlocked for most of the first half, but right before the halftime whistle, Wakulla gets caught napping. The Crusaders take a 1 0 lead into the locker room. But second half, Wakulla, the aggressor, free kick into the box. BK can't clear it. Great look here from Cole, hitting just over the woodwork. Mm. It's the crossbar of the goalpost, though, for football. Uh, but Eagles still looking for the equalizer. Inside seven minutes free kick Braden Paul gets oh. it right to the keeper as good a chance as they would get Bishop Kenny scores a dagger late off a penalty kick a great season for Wakulla but it comes to an end 2-0 your final at JD Jones Stadium that's right it's winner go home time hey Mike it, excuse me yes Mike Hickman Stadium the uh, the site for JP2 and Lafayette Luis Ventura great cross here but Stavros just can't get it to go Scoreless from Mike Hickman. Lafayette's turn, driving the field, breakaway, no dice. That one is saved by McClay. So you heard it was Ventura to Stavros earlier. Now Stavros' turn. Mc uh, JP2 had so many chances. They finally get one to go. Stavros, Ventura, header. Yes, sir. 1 0 right before the halftime break. And that was all the Panthers needed in this one. 1 0, your final. JP2 sends Lafayette packing. All right, how about a little bit of Florida High and PK Young? If you were eagle eyed, uh, you know that PK Young bounced Florida High's girls out of the tournament just two days ago. Boys looking for a little bit of vengeance. Here comes the blue wave with a nice little opportunity that's going to sail just wide, keeps the keeper guessing, but Florida High dodges themselves a bullet until Brooks Hickman here in the 32nd oh. minute just over the crossbar. It hits the net. It's just not the net it needed to hit. Uh, we go to the halftime locker room tied at nil, but a goal explosion in the second half as the Seminole boys avenge the girls' loss in Gainesville. 2-1. The Knowles are moving on. That's head to Giles Regional Quarters, hosted by the T-Wolves, playing host to Tate. The Tate Aggies will start you off the second half. T-Wolves up 2-0, and they are back on the attack. Good ball movement. Carver Tyler crosses it towards the goal, tries to get it to go. No dice. That was Stuart Kate. So close, but no cigar. The T-Wolves, they're persistent. Otis Kyle gets the breakaway. Just one defender and a goalie in front of him. Oh, that, you can't oh, do that. That tough. will be a penalty kick for Childs. Was there any doubt here? The guy's name is Kyle Smooth. You kidding me? Smooth as silk. That's good. I feel that, like he, he could play any sport. Oh, know. absolutely. Kyle Smooth, he could, he could have a record album is what he could have. Right. Kyle Smooth on the acoustic guitar. You kidding me? Charles advances to the regional semis. They're going to play Ponte Vedra at home. T-Wolves get it done 3-0. Yeah, unfortunately, the one game we weren't able to get you, a bad result there. East side in Swanee season. 3-2 in Gainesville, but overall not a bad showing from our area soccer teams. No, it was fun to get out there. A little chilly, no question about that's it. That's absolutely but for sure. That's okay. We'll brave it because we love seeing our boys soccer teams do good things.